Hi, Sarah. How you doing? Thanks so much for getting your work up. Um, your writing is is really it's, you're excited about the project, and I can really tell through your writing. And so is Elizabeth, who posted right before you. I think you guys are really into it, and that's awesome. I, I'm loving it so far. And I you know, I teach this class a lot, and I will say that you know when you start looking at sustainability for the first time, it's really it kind of blows you back to the point where it's like, wow, this is so incredible. It's all I can think about. And I know that that's where you guys are at. And, and, and that's cool. Um, what I'm not seeing, though, is I'm not seeing a real good adher adherence to the project specifications, specifically in this these um, presentations here. Let me show you what I'm talking about over here. And please, please feel free to review Elizabeth's um, video because I, you know, a lot of the same things are are mentioned in there. But in every week we have the uh, assignment, and the assignment it gives the deadlines and deliverables and the steps to success. Which, as you've heard me say before, this is your holy grail from your path to. Uh, extreme success in this class lies in steps to success for each assignment. Now I take that steps to success a little bit, a step further actually, and I really kind of dissect it and put it in layman's terms and just really simplify it here. And I do that quite often on, as the first post for every assignment that you're going to have. So let's take a look at what we have here. So this week I said um, near completion to your trade show booth, near completion. Okay, and can we say this is near completion? Absolutely not. We, we can't say that because it's not. So um, then we say, uh, be sure to label the parts of the booth and describe the ideation and function. Be sure to include a materials list. Now, you you did leave a materials list, okay? But as far as describing and labeling these, like what is this and what is this and, you know, what are they mean? You know, Label it, meaning point right to it and say, this is the cover made from plant fiber cloth. Okay, this is my trade show booth table, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I think it's important to realize that this is just a table. It's not a trade show booth. So I, I would do some research. And I do have something that you can look at. Um, where the heck is it? If I go over here, and I, I shared this example with um, Elizabeth earlier. Where was it? It's right here. And I just want you to see the, the trade show booth. This is, uh, these are sketches for the trade show booth. Those are the ideas. And this is the, the rough for the trade show booth. So this is kind of, I guess, for lack of a better way of putting it, it's kind of what you're up against um, in, in your presentations. So I think that it would really warrant a, a uh, sorry about that. I think it would really warrant a maybe taking a closer look at this and saying, okay, I'm going to label this and I'm going to really render out a trade show booth. I'm really going to think it through and I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to label it like this and tell what they're from. And then this student took it a step further and even went to the next page and gave all of the uh, materials. Okay, so I'd like to see you a little bit more, um, in, in, you know, stepping a little bit more further in that direction. A little, I just said a little bit more further in that direction. That's not correct. A little further in that direction. Okay, so you've got this. Like We don't know what this is. I mean, I'm guessing this is your trade show booth. We don't know because you're not telling us it's not labeled. Materials. Natural wood frame. All right, let's think this through. This is a trade show global summit on on uh global issues all right quite feasibly you could have a deforestation booth right next to yours i don't think the deforestation folks are going to appreciate a natural wood frame um for your trade show booth okay so and for that reason i recommend looking at something different fiberglass support that's fine uh, as long as you can tell us why fiberglass is sustainable and responsible Plant fiber cloth, give us some information on that. Soy-based ink, of course, yes. And then recycled paper. But what is that, like, where are you using paper in your trade show? You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm getting a little bit lost up in the um, uh, presentation? Okay, materials. This, I don't even know what this is. I mean, I, I'm guessing that's a trade show booth. I, I don't know what that is, so I really can't comment on it. And then over here we have a, presumably it's a trifold. Um, however, wouldn't the back have to be designed as well, I would think? 
So, okay, so that's food for thought. And then, and then, of course, you would have to, you would want to tell us what this is made from the materials. Tell us what the ink is that you're using. Tell us the printing process, um, et cetera, okay? So that's where I'm at. So I would like you to kind of take a closer look at your, your presentation and maybe start applying some of the things that I've, I've, I've discussed here and some of the things maybe that you can gather out of Elizabeth's video as well and there, you guys aren't doing anything wrong i i think that you're just not i think you're concentrating more on your research at this point and i and it's easy to do because this is all new and it's just such fascinating material it's really easy to, to keep going with your and then and to stop and say okay i've got to present this and i have to assume my viewer doesn't understand or or know what i'm talking about therefore i have to label and describe accordingly okay hope that makes sense if you have any questions at all please feel free to contact me. Um, in the meantime, I'd like to see you start to think about uh, uh, reposting. All right? Again, any questions at all, give me a holler. Thank you very much.